Dr. Chigundu was nominated by the president in 2002 as the chairman of the Electoral Commission and again in 2009 up to 2016. He says his only regret is never having been able to conduct the national LC1 and 2 elections, a matter which was not for the commission own making. The fair, failure, not failure, actually, inability to conduct LC1 and uh, LC2 elections, which is not our own choosing. So, but uh, the process is underway. Whenever the process is clear, there's an amendment to the laws, and then we try to make sure the resources are available to fit to the requirements of conducting that election. According to Chigundu, establishing an institute would afford officials the technical capacity to deliver effective and efficient electoral services. Uh, we, are, we are living uh, behind no major regrets that we will make us sleepless. So the child, like you and media are good child, but I'm sure you meet the challenges along the road. What you do? Do you surrender your camera because you made the challenge? You try to secure. So these are these are tasks which must be carried out by human beings, and we have to be the one at this particular time. Dr. Chigundu has long been subject of intense criticism over his alleged favoritism of the governing national resistance movement and playing to the tune of President Yorari Museveni. But in his departing remarks, Dr. Chigundo dismissed the talk, as he has always done, remarking that he finally hopes to pick a political party which to support. Professor of civil engineering, Maybe some of you may, may, may know me on the conclusion, by much of the age, uh, but uh, I have the requisite training professionally uh, to fit in the dock. So uh, I am grateful that Lower local council elections stalled since 2011 general elections due to inconsistencies in the law of multi-party dispensation, but even when it was amended, government has been unable to provide funds for such elections to be conducted. More than 120 billion Uganda shillings is required for the entire process to succeed. This story was compiled by Paul Matovu, WBS-TV, Kampala.